Hey everyone, welcome at this fourth and final video on HR in operations. This final video touches briefly upon strategic human resource management, meaning that we're going to take a look at how we can actually ensure that our HR practices result in operational success, which in turn would result in enhanced competitive advantage. And the steps seem rather simple. We need to look at the company's mission and values. Where do they actually stand and where do they want to go? What is their competitive strategy? Do we want to differentiate ourselves? In turn, what are the required employees and what kind of behaviors do they need to perform? You can imagine that if the company wants to differentiate, they aim to hire the most creative employees. Accordingly, the HR practices need to be aligned to those requirements. You can, for example, think about recruitment procedures, but also about training and development options. By making sure that everyone is on the same page, you try to align the employee behavior with the strategic goals of the company. There is a catch though. Quite often what we see is that there is a gap between the intended and the actual implementation of the HR practices. HR is namely quite dependent on some key actors in an organization. So for example, the line managers, those are the ones that need to actually implement the practices. And quite often what we see is in that, for example, in hotels, the line managers don't have the time or the energy to actually implement the practices HR came up with. So if we look at Starbucks as an example, we see that their mission is to inspire and to nurture the human spirit. They aim to create a culture of belonging. They act with courage. They aim to be transparent and they deliver their very best and are performance driven. And if we look at their strategy, we see that product differentiation is the core of Starbucks strategy in order to gain sustained competitive advantage. Porter describes the strategy of differentiation as the delivery of quality products or services that are perceived to be unique and valued by consumers. And this is also what Starbucks aims to offer. Starbucks tries to enhance the customer experience by creating a great ambience, by creating an experience with regards to the coffee. You know those coffee mugs, right? Where your name is written on it. It already gives this personal touch. And actually what we see is that a research done by Daily Mail also found that customers really um, experience a Starbucks experience, which is completely different than the normal or the regular coffee source. Actually, Starbucks, they call their employees their partners. Starbucks is really devoted to supporting, to engaging and investing in the development of their employees. They really see their people as their most valuable assets and they try to provide them with learning opportunities to, to develop their skills, to develop their careers and to help their so-called partners to achieve their personal and professional goals. They want to find people that are curious, that are collaborative and that want to continuously learn. So in turn, they also want to provide them with limitless opportunities to make an impact in the organization, to become their personal best. As such, they also reward their partners um, who actually achieve results, who live their mission and who live their values. Accordingly, they make sure that those employees are valued enough that they retain them to the company. So in the end, we can see that Taking certain measures on an operational level, implementing HR practices can have in turn an effect on outcomes on a more strategical level. So we can ask ourselves multiple questions here. How can we design a job in such a way that a person wants to work here? Think back about video one and two. What kind of job characteristics does someone need? Think about video three. How can we actually hire this person? Why do they want to work for us? So in the end, HR is really that linking pin. 
They are the ones that have to make sure that they live up to the expectations, not only of the company, but also of the employee. I would say um, HR is like a matchmaker. It's like being Fred, Fred of first dates, making sure that you create the perfect match between the employees and the organization. So you get an optimal pool of employees that all know where they want to go, that all live towards that vision, that mission, so that the company achieves the success that they're actually striving for.